Dr. Krupp. Did you read this? Yeah. Filthy dogs. I gotta spring the boss. He has plans and we're included. You're right, Lila. But where, when? Who knows? I'll find a way, Bear. I got a good idea. I'll send him a little message. But that's impossible. <laughs> this way it ain't. The cops will put it in his hand down there at the station house. So you see, then the boss will understand that we're waiting to help. Bear, you better go phone all the guys. Because we'll be needing extra strength. I'll be back. Hey, is the inspector here? He's interrogating the bat in there. Then no one else is mixed up in this business with you? No. In other words, you work alone? Uh-huh. He's lying, Inspector. You have to capture two other crooks. One is nicknamed Lilac. He and another escaped the night you raided the bat's house. All right, how about it? Mister, you better confess all you know about this. I'm warning you. Is this a message for you? You're stalling. No, I don't. Well, if this man is the bat, by whom was this drawing sent? I don't know, Inspector. Possibly by those two men I told you about before. Unfortunately, I haven't got the slightest idea of what they're trying to say. Take them out now. And keep your eyes on them, boys. This message complicates things. Let's all be very careful from now on. This individual is extremely dangerous, you know. Yes, Inspector, that's completely true. According to the facts I have on this case, this fellow they call a bat used to be a very famous doctor. Only his license was canceled years ago. Why, Doctor? For carrying out forbidden experiments on animals and human beings. He grafted on parts that didn't belong to the animal's anatomy. And naturally, the results were horrible. Men commit the most terrible crimes. Anyway, with the proof I have filed against this Dr. Krupp, I'll send him away for a good many years. Yes, I hope so, Inspector. Don't worry about this. I don't think there's anything to it. I'm very grateful to you all for the help you've given me. And I'd just like to ask one more thing from you, Doctor. You bet, Inspector. I'd like you to tell me all you know about the men we haven't captured yet, so that I can put a bulletin out right away. I'd be glad to, Inspector. Are you going up to bed now, darling? Yes, and good night, Papa. Mm. Sleep well now, my sweet. A very good night to all. Good, good night, night. Jimmy. Well, I think that we'll feel much better now that this case is cleared up. The bat is going to go to jail, so there's nothing to fear now. No, I don't agree. You're forgetting about the old curse, aren't you? That business is all over now. No. My father died when he profaned the tomb of the Aztecs. According to the curse, my father was to perish, and me too, because they also blame me. Now stop that. Why worry, Flora? As long as the mummy has the breastplate and the bracelet in his custody, he won't wake up there. Now you listen. I want to take you to the altar soon. I really do. Then you can forget all that's past, darling. But till that date, can't you stay here at the house? My daughter's alone. She and I need you so much. You're very sweet, darling. I was sure scared, and I'll admit it. Each time I think about all that's happened to us, the old ticker starts to complain like crazy. Are you kidding? 
But that's silly. When things start going wrong, you run like a bunny. Sure, I don't want my head to get broken open, that's all. You sure got plenty of guts. My dear young warrior, just remember this sentence. He who ran came back to say that the other heroes were buried today. No more than two or three minutes ago. Which way? Toward the north. Better start saying your prayers, because now you're going to get it. No, don't kill him, Lila. But, boss, listen. I know what I'm talking about. Come on, now. We better get going. I am going to kill this intruder, but in my own way. Good evening. How did you get in? Who are you? I'm a friend. If you're a friend, why do you wear that mask? 
That's too long a story to go into right now. I only came here tonight to tell you that you're both in very great danger. The bat managed to escape. And just why did you come here to the house to let us know? Tell us who you are. I'm called the Angel. And don't think that I'm interested in you two alone. I try to help anyone that's in trouble. My mission is to do all I can do to eliminate crime. There's so much of it around. You asked me about the mask. I hide my identity because it makes my job easier. Tell me another thing. Who helped the bat? When they were taking the bat to the penitentiary, Lilac and the other men arrived on the scene. They murdered the guards that were inside the bus. What a ruthless thing to do. I hate to say it, but I couldn't fight that many and win. This is terrible, darling. To what lengths can that man go? Who knows, Doctor? In any case, I came to warn you because you should be ready for anything now. I don't know when or where that man is going to attack. And the police, aren't they on the job too? Certainly they are. Their companions were killed by the batsmen, you know, and they want revenge also. There are things to do, so I'll be going. And I'll leave you this radio wristwatch. If you ever run into any trouble, just call me if you find it possible to do so. I'll hear you. This is a long distance radio. Goodbye, Doctor. When's this nightmare going to end? It was a smart idea to send me that paper. As soon as I spied the bat on it, I figured you'd planned an escape, so I waited until you came. I was plenty lucky that the plan worked out. I depended on you and you didn't fail. And so I'm going to reward you quite soon. What's the reward, Doctor? The Aztec treasure. Do you mean we'll be going after that treasure again? That's right, Bear. But I don't intend to fail this time. Nothing can get in our way. When I find the treasure, I'll make you all rich. That's great, boss. But how do we find the treasure? Now listen, men. One dark night, and this all happened a long time ago. Dr. Alma then hypnotized his fiance in order to prove his theory that through the use of hypnotism, a person could be sent back through time to lead a past life. Exactly 20 years old. Tell me, Flora. Tell me where you are. Don't know. Meditate on this thing. I must know. Please think and tell me your old name and where you are at this very instant. I need to know exactly where you are. Tell me where you are. You must tell me where you are. I know. I'm in the Aztec city, Tenochtitlan. Through her hypnotic trance, the doctor sent the girl to the great Aztec city of Pyramids, where she had lived during her previous life. At birth, she had been designated as a servant of the great god Tecatlipoca, and she should have remained a maiden during her lifetime. But she fell in love with Popoca, a great Aztec warrior who defied the laws that governed their lives in those days and made her his. However, the high priests discovered their secret, and they were taken as prisoners to the lower temple, into the presence of the god Tecatlipoca, to receive their punishment for violating his laws. They were made to kneel before the high priest, who ordered that the sacrificial fires be lighted. watched through the endless centuries over the breastplate and the bracelet. His soul was cursed so that he'd never be able to find eternal rest. And she was sentenced to death 
Not an honorable death as a servant of her god, but as a simple sacrifice to appease his anger. And that's the story of the experiment that I was witness to since I was watching through the window of Dr. Ahmed in the laboratory. He learned what he wanted. He decided to try to find the objects that show exactly where the treasure is located, the great Aztec treasure. Guided by Flora, who recalled perfectly well that she had been there in her trance. They found the objects there. I saw them later, they're spectacular, and naturally their value is incalculable. When I was incarcerated by the police, I learned the bad news later, there's Dr. Almaden had replaced the two things in the tomb, the breastplate and the bracelet. Only how will we find the tomb now? That ain't gonna be an easy job. Lilac, why are you so innocent? I told you the whole story and you still ask me questions. There's nothing hard about it. Can't you see that we will employ the same method that Dr. Almaden used? Hypnotizing that woman just the way he did. You're getting smart, Lilac. So I suppose you understand how you are to proceed now. Ah. I begin to see. Later tonight, we'll kidnap the girl and bring her here. But don't go there armed, Lilac. It's risky to use guns because a bullet might kill the girl or the doctor. Eh, I won't forget that. We'd better be going.
papers finished. It seems you've got two birds with just one kidnapping. That's right, for us. We had to bring the kid along. She busted in on us, and we didn't want to risk her messing up our plans. That's just fine. Now it'll be much easier to get Dr. Almaden. When he's needed, I'm tired. As if we're face to face once more. I certainly hope my men didn't mistreat you. Aren't you going to tire of including us in your crimes, Dr. Krupp? I'll get tired the day I can put my hands on the thing that can help me to progress in my work. The Aztec treasure. <laughs> no, young lady. I know you think I'm lying. But I assure you I don't want the money to use it as others might use it. Success brings total joy. The Aztec treasure is only for my work. I need riches in order to make an important experiment that... that I want the world to see. And that way I'll reach the pinnacle. I know what you're thinking. You're sure I'm going to guide you straight to where you imagine those ornaments are hidden? Exactly, young lady. Well, I hate to disillusion you, Dr. Krupp. I don't know where they are, so I can't take them. Now, that's very interesting. Well, it's obvious. They didn't tell you my fiancé went to the tomb and replaced the objects. <laughs> no, young lady. I don't forget anything. I know it. In that case, you must have heard that there was an explosion that destroyed the temple completely and that my father was killed as well. I do hope your poor father didn't suffer too much. But I imagine the pyramid is... is still where it was before. Am I right? <laughs> now listen, I'm not completely stupid, though you think so. Suppose that the temple actually did tumble down. In that case, we'll remove the remains and rescue the ornaments. I have plenty of men. But don't think I'm going to help. Naturally, you'd refuse. I know your type, and I expected that you would. Why should you want to assist? But if I were to use the method that your fiancé used... Not hypnosis. Precisely, my dear. Do you forget that I know a great deal about this? I'd apply all my strength and fight you under those conditions you couldn't hypnotize me. You're absolutely right. But since you did learn a great deal through your father, and I didn't forget that fact, you undoubtedly know that there are certain drugs, such as this one that I have prepared, that make a patient quite willing to cooperate completely, my dear. Take that brat away. Lock her up. We'll just wait around 12 hours. Then I'll begin to hypnotize her. Mm -hmm. Pieces. 
They must have scalped me, or at least it feels like that. But now we'd better do something. We can't sit around here crying. I'm afraid that little Jenny and Flora are in danger. Unfortunately, we don't have any information as to where that bat's hiding. I'm going to call the police. No, no, Edward, no. That could be dangerous. You see, if you call the police, they might kill the girls. Yes, Pinkot. And frankly, the best thing we can do is wait until the bat telephones us, and we'll know what it is he has in mind then. Yes, I guess you're right, but who can bear such a situation? Just to wait and wait, and we can't do a thing. Yes, Edward, it's true, but nothing can be done. So please try to calm down. Fast, you know. Anyway, last night I hid the little radio. Now I can call him. Oh, what good would that do? After they steal the horse, you close the stable. Great Jupiter, how this bump hurts. I swear that whoever did it busted me on the head with a bulldozer. Come closer for a second. Look, I don't want to alarm Edward, but I can assure you that the bat's going to phone him tomorrow or Wednesday. Now, should he do that, I think it would be a good idea if you put in a little call to the angel. I've been getting too many lumps lately, you know? And my brain just can't stand too much gaff. Yeah, sure. Understand? Sure do. Bring in Flora immediately. Yes, boss. You hear? The boss is waiting. Start to work now. Why, she didn't even try to resist. A few cc's of my drug, and your resistance disappeared, right? Come. Even under the effects of the drug, her unconscious mind continues to put up a fight. She reflects a strong and rebellious personality. There, pull the curtain. I'll start to work on her right away, Lilac. You gonna hypnotize her, boss? Getting tired. Slowly getting tired. You feel that you want to rest. You feel that you must rest. You are sleeping. You are sleeping. You are sleeping deeply. You sleep the sleep of the dead. sleeping. In her trance, she'll do anything I tell her. And now what do you do? I'll proceed with Flora to the pyramid. But I consider it expedient to take Dr. Almond and prisoner. When we return with the breastplate and the bracelet, he can decipher the hieroglyphics on those objects, Lilac. And in turn, they'll tell us exactly where the Aztec treasure is. So now we go and bring the doctor here, right? No. Undoubtedly, they're prepared. If you go, they're likely to capture you. 
Yeah? I have another plan. You could reach him on the telephone. That'd be easy. And phone him right now. Who's speaking? Dr. Almaden? Yes, this is Almaden. Pay close attention to what I'm going to tell you, Doctor. Who is this, please? This is Dr. Krupp. I'm sure you must realize now that your fiancé and your daughter are both in my power. Yes, so what should I do now, Dr. Krupp? You are to come here to this house alone. This is the address, so write it down. Mount Lorraine, number 22. Do you have it? Yes. Fine. You are to be here in 30 minutes, Doctor. You're an intelligent man, but I'll repeat it, Doctor. You are to come to this address alone. <laughs> if you should decide not to, then your girlfriend would have to suffer for your defiance. You understand? You win. I'll go. so that I can carry out the plan. I heard him on extension. What are you going to do? I'm leaving right now. What will you do if it's a trap? There's no other alternative. Flora's in great danger. Should I go wake up Pinkot? Because he told us if something happened to let him know about it. No. He said to go alone. You two better stay here. If it's at all possible, I'll call you later. We'll wait. Yes, Bobby. What's the matter? Angel, we got troubles and they're bad. Edward ran out just now. He's gone to the bat tied up. They got Jenny and Flora captive. Give me the address. Yes. Mount Lorraine 22. I'm scared they'll hurt them, Angel. Please hurry and get there. I'm leaving right away, Bobby. And try not to worry. I'll do everything possible to save them. Thanks, Angel. Find the treasure. Doctor. Please take a seat. Dog, if you hurt them, I swear up. Calm down, Dr. Almaden. They're not harmed, don't worry. She's only sleeping now. Witness my hypnotic power. Why, you black-hearted pig! You ugly rat! You Shut your mouth, you! It's very easy to beat a man when he's tied and cowardly. Dr. Almaden, don't insult me like that or I'll make you pay for it. 
I don't doubt for a second that you're plenty of man. I'd be glad to try you out. I have a pair of fists that could break your head. But right now, I want to get something that's more important. After it's mine, I, I promise that you and I... I want to fight you, Doctor. Alone! I'll tell you my intentions. I'm going to accompany your lovely fiancé to the pyramid. The breastplate and the bracelet are there. I want them. You'll stay tied here in the house. I'll leave a couple of men to guard you. When we do return, I'll make you sit down and decipher the hieroglyphics so that we'll obtain the Aztec treasure, Doctor. But that's very dangerous. You're crazy. I know all the danger involved. I could tell you what happened to us in the tomb, Doctor. You'd go anyway, wouldn't you? Exactly, so it's useless to waste your breath. I guess you're right. But you're going to take the consequences. Watch what you're saying, friend. Don't think that my aim is to threaten you. But there are certain supernatural things. Mysteries that amaze us all. And you didn't study that, Doctor. I'll hear all about it later. Your conversation is very interesting. But now the only thing I want to know is if you intend to cooperate with me. I haven't the slightest intention. <laughs> but I have methods. I can persuade you. In that case, why'd you bother to ask? Crop, as soon as I've deciphered the hieroglyphics, you'll free us. I want your word. You have my word. You'll all be set free. The alarm just rang. There's a stranger out there. Why, you, if you dare to call the police... I certainly want to thank you, Doctor. Now we can finish him. We better put a stop to this. You two stay and watch the Doctor. I'll work on this one. You others can finish the angel. I didn't think that you and I'd have our little fight so soon, Dr. Almaden. affairs. But I stopped you tonight and I can't permit you to continue. I don't even want to find out who you are. 
It really doesn't matter since you're no longer a threat. You'll be dead pretty soon and who'll care about your true identity? Huh. All I can say is bon voyage. I don't admire your valor. All right, take him to the death chamber. <laughs> Now, Lilac, we'll be going to the pyramid. I'm ready. Laura, can you hear? Answer, I command you to answer. Can you hear? Yes. Come here, then. Doctor and the girl, yes, if sir. you make another mistake, you'll pay with your lives, understand? Yes, sir. Laura, come. We'll be going. Where are you taking me? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> All set? Bobby! Yes? This is the angel. My life depends on the strength of a light cord. I want you to come running to Mount Lorraine number 22. The address that you gave me before. Yes. First I'll wake him Pinkot. He might lend us a hand. There's not a moment to lose. I want you here in five minutes. Five minutes. I'll be there. Listen, you, where's the angel? He's taking a little nap in the prettiest place, Doctor. Isn't that right, boy? <laughs> Right in front of you, you'll see a secret door. To open it, press the button on the left-hand side. It's high up. I'll find something to push me back and forth with, but hurry!
never been so close to death as I was hanging in that chamber just then. Are you sure you were hurt? Yes. Now we've got to go in and rescue your brother. I don't know how many men are in there standing guard, but I know we've got to use our heads this time. Come on. You hear that? Who made that noise? I don't know. We'd better investigate. Here they come now. Get your hands in the air. Get their guns. All of you. Come on. Papa! Jenny, my darling. Calm down, dear. Don't worry. There's nothing to frighten you. Bobby, I want you to take Jenny to the house and keep your eyes open, understand? Sure, Lord. Now, give me that pistol. And your fiancé? The bat took her to the pyramid. Let's go find her. Come on. All of you come down here. Move the rock back. Dr. Almaden's house. Now that's a stupid thing to say, Lilac. It's only a mummy that's lain there for centuries. It's most probable that the explosion uncovered it. But, boss... ...found it at last. It's the bracelet, look. We'll find the treasure now. Get your hands up. The angel. He escaped once more, the meddler. Give the breastplate and the bracelet back to the mummy. No. Obey or the girl gets a bullet right now. Lilac, start firing. Drop that zombie before he murders us. Jam, Doctor. 
I'm sorry we caused you trouble. You didn't have to risk your own neck. Don't worry about that. The only thing that can save us now is the mummy. Let's stall and we'll gain time. But do you really think that the mummy will find this house, Doctor? Yes, because there are undecipherable mysteries surrounding his ceremony of burial. Superior forces can guide the mummy, obviously. It's happened like that on other occasions. So I really do think that the mummy could come tonight to recover the objects that the Aztecs placed in his custody. Don't forget that the bat stole them before, Angel. I'm sure now that... Come on. The boss is out there waiting. that I intend to use her as a hostage. I'll set her free in a while, Doctor, once you have deciphered these hieroglyphics here. What's more, do this work and you'll get a part of the treasure once the treasure is found. It's a deal? All right, I accept, but under one condition. Which is? She is to sit in here while I work, and she must be conscious. Very well, Dr. Almaden. Did you hear? I'll bring her in. You know, there's something I'd like to find out. Won't you tell me who or what injects life into the mummy? Certain spirits command it. Are you trying to say there are powers that are completely supernatural, that give orders to the mummy, Doctor? There's a lot you don't know about these things, and you shouldn't meddle. I told you that. Well, it's all the same with me. Actually, I'm only interested in the Aztec treasure. I'll use that money to continue my experiments, Doctor. Wake up, Flora. Where did they beat you? Why did they tie you? There, there. Calm down, Flora. Later, I'll explain the whole business. Well, Dr. Almaden, I did what I just promised. I hope that you'll do the same and get started. You'll keep your word, I suppose, and decipher this message. Yes, Doctor. Edward, no. But I'll need a book that's in my house first. What's it called? It's called Ancient Aztec History. It has certain important keys I need. It's the only way I can decipher the hieroglyphics. It must be brought here. Ah, but who will bring it, Doctor? Simply telephone my house. My young brother will bring it here. But do you really mean you're going to do it? Who's speaking? Your brother. He has a few words. Bobby, Edward speaking. I'm fine. And Jenny? All tucked in. Anna's with her now. Now listen, Bobby. In my bookcase, close to the desk in the study, there is a heavy book. Ancient Aztec History. I need it at Mount Lorraine, number 22. You saying you returned? That's the bath place, Edward. Yes, the bath place. Now come quickly. And especially since you both have expressions that are very sad. I think it would be a good idea if we saw the face of our friend, the angel. Could be that he has a happier look. In just a moment, you'll all know who this defender of justice really is. You. So this is the famous angel, eh? Pinkat, you're the angel. Your timid and cowardly helper, Dr. Almaden. Congratulations. You had us fooled. I hate to say it, but I guess the angel's finished now, Doctor. 
That explains why you ran the moment you found yourself up against danger. And I used to call you a coward. Forgive me, Pinkot. I never associated the two. translated the first half of the message. Well, try to work faster, then. I can't work any faster. I'm sorry, Dr. Krupp. One hour is all the time you have to get the translation completed. Should you not get it done... Finish it in five minutes, Dr. Almaden. I hope you'll keep your promise and set us all free, Doctor. Eh? Ah, yes. And of course you know what to do now, Lilac, don't you? What do you think? You heartless, unscrupulous pig!
take treasure. Those riches don't belong to us. And the mummy? Since they destroyed the temple of Tecatlipoca, he has no reason to go there. In my opinion, he'll probably find some place where mortals seldom tread, a spot where he can sleep his eternal sleep and keep watch over the objects that his forefathers entrusted to his care. Thank you.